Hey guys, this is Mr. AJ's Tech here, and today I'm going to show you how to get mobile substrate for iOS 7. So right here I have my iPhone 5S, it's loaded up onto the screen, and I'm just going to show you how to install it and talk about the new update. Uh, so it's very simple, um, well if you install a tweak that it re relies on uh, mobile substrate, then it will automatically be installed. But it's actually called Cydia substrate, so you can go ahead and search it and install Cydia substrate by itself. Um, basically it's mobile substrate. It has the same bundle name, so it's all pretty much the same. Uh, so when you install a new tweak, you're going to have to, um, it's going to depend on this, so it will automatically install, install in most cases. Now as for installing older tweaks, you should watch out, especially on the iPhone 5S and the iPad Air, because oftentimes those older tweaks will not work because they do need to be updated for iOS 7 and the new 64-bit processor. So it, whether you have an iPhone 5S or an iPad Air, you're definitely going to want to watch out when you install older tweaks. Now as for the newer tweaks that you see in changes, um, you should be good to go installing those because for the most part they are updated and ready to use on iOS 7. Now it's just if you do install something old and it causes you a respring loop and you can't uh, delete it, what you're going to want to do is just turn off your device, hold the down volume button, and you can go ahead and uh, put the phone in safe mode, then you go into Cydia and delete the conflicting tweak. So as always guys, rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.